360 tours got even better in Magic Plan? Let's talk more about that. Hey everybody, Ben with Magic Plan here. Today's video is all about Magic Plan 360 Link. I'll be covering 360 photos and 360 tours and how you can do that in Magic Plan. Now this is something that we've actually supported for quite a long time, but we've recently overhauled it, made it easier for you to use and hopefully a little bit more accessible in your day-to-day -day operations. So I've created a floor plan of our office. I'm gonna click into this and go down to this private office where we're currently recording. I'll go into photos and notes, click the plus sign, go to the camera, and in the bottom right, it currently shows photo as being selected. I'll select 360. Now I need to turn on this 360 camera. I have an Insta360 here. It's also supporting Ricoh Theta cameras as well. There's a really easy process for connecting this the very first time. I'll leave a link in the description below. It takes about 30 seconds. Once you've done it once, anytime this device is on within the proximity of your mobile device, it's really easy to connect. So I'm gonna click reconnect here. Give it just a second. And just like that, you'll see that I'm connected to the Insta360. So I'm ready to go ahead and take a photo. I'll click the capture photo icon here, and it'll say processing at the top. Once it's done saying processing, I'll get a little icon in the top right of my screen that says next. And I'll get a little thumbnail down here of the 360 photo that I just captured. I can click into that, show you real quick the photo that we captured leave a caption, which is just a brief description of what I saw or what I was doing when I took this photo. I can edit this and I can mark it up and delete it. I'm going to quickly mark up to show how easy it is to edit specific portions of a 360 photo while still leaving the rest of the 360 photo untouched. So my cameraman Fernando and I don't want to be in this photo, so I will go ahead and redact us from the image. I'll click done. It'll process the image. I'll click save all. And just like that, I've captured a 360 photo. Now I've already captured quite a few different types of media for this project. I'll go into my photo gallery from the project overview, and you'll see that the 360 photo that I just captured is here under the September 5th section. It's indicated by that little icon in the top right saying, hey, this is a 360 photo. Now beneath that, the first two photos are just normal photos. And the third one is a video indicated by that little play icon and the timestamp showing how long it is. Now, I want a 360 tour that's only 360 photos from this project. The first thing I need to do is reconnect to Wi-Fi here in my office so that I can generate that 360 tour. Because these cameras connect to the Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth, I'll quickly need to disconnect from my Wi-Fi. And then when I reconnect, it should go back to the network I was previously on. Otherwise, you just go into your Wi-Fi settings, find what you want to connect to, or you go back to your cellular plan. Now, I'm reconnected to Wi-Fi. I'll go into the export options in the top right and select 360 tour. I'll leave the title as is, you can call it whatever you want. And I'll say photos from this week in the office. And I will leave all the photo info. I am a huge proponent for more information is better. I'll click publish 360 tour. Now bear in mind, if you have a lot of 360 photos, this will take a little bit of time. These are pretty dense files. They take a little while to process. But since I only have a couple for this one, you'll see that it's already done. Now, on the left-hand side, you'll see the navigation menu. I can quickly jump through all the photos that I have on this project. I can also quickly hide that by clicking the icon and show it again by clicking the icon again. On the right-hand side, I have the information panel. This gives information about the 360 tour as well as photo specific information. So you see for this conference room, I have a caption where I left a little note as well as when was this created and who created this. It's the same for all the other photos as well here. I can hide that by clicking the X icon and I can reshow the information panel by clicking the information icon in the top right. Now as well, iOS has the built-in share functionality so I can do that for some quick sharing options. And then in the top right, there's the ellipses. That gives me the ability to rename this 360 tour, share it really easily, or delete it if I want to delete it. Lastly, I can hide all of those things and show you how you can interact with these photos just with your finger. You can zoom in and you can zoom out. I think it's really cool to show how the redacted 
portion of that 360 photo only affects that really small area that I selected. So the rest of the photo is still in good shape. And that's pretty much it for Magic Plan 360 Link. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any feedback, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content on a regular basis. Until then, have a great day.